I've got this Subaru in the workshop at the moment which is going to go in the Variety Club bash and uh, I'm going to do a sump guard and a fuel tank guard on it. So here it is. So we'll uh, we'll get up in the air and start mounting up the front sump guard for it. And those two bits that we just made go here, there, and that'll go into there. And that, that will be the forward section of our sump guard mount. So there's my two rear mount blocks that'll go, I'll weld these onto the chassis rail. The mount block goes in and that'll hold the crossbar, that'll hold the back of the sump guard. They're um, not light, they're not overly heavy, but they're not light, but they've got a pretty massive job to do. So. Every car, the time the car hits something underneath, all the load's going to be transferred to the car through these.
so there's my rear crossbar and these parts here these parts will be welded to the floor of the car and then the, the bolt will drop into the hole and then fit into these sections and that's how it'll go together do the uh, when it's on the car you'll do, do that with a socket so that's the that's the fitting underneath the car up there is welded to the car you weld it around here and then this part here actually this part here carries the sump guard across underneath the car like so bit of a job seeing she got his oil and uh, grease and bitumen and rubbish that you've got to get through so there it is all welded off and that side too Here is my sump guard material and I've marked it all out. You can't see it very well my camera but it's all marked out so I'll just start cutting it out. So there is the sump guard plate all cut, folded and drilled. That's the uh, side goes towards the body. And that's the side that goes towards the ground and it has all of the Counter sinking done. There is my crossbars fitted. I can now lift the sump guard up and uh, install it into the car. Onto the car. This is the fuel tank guard that I'm making up at the moment. It's just out of uh, mild steel. Um, goes underneath, bolts to the floor at this section and then picks up in the middle there between the suspension. There's the guard uh, fitted uh, but bits and pieces tacked to it which I'm going to take the guard down now 
and uh, weld them in on the floor, on the bench. And that's the uh, back mount, exhaust coming out. And up here, I've got to, haven't made it yet. This section here will have three bolts through in here, in here which will uh, be welded to that cross member. There's my rear mount welded in. 